Welcome inside the Palestra as the Temple Owls look to end a five-game losing streak against the LaSalle Explorers, who come into this game winners of four straight. I'm Chase Senior here with Tim Legler of ESPN. He's going to be on the call with John Saunders. And you went to LaSalle. You're back here in the city of Philadelphia at one of the most historic venues in college basketball. How's it feel to be back? Feels like old times. I mean, just even getting off the Schuylkill and driving by Franklin Field. And just like I used to do as a player, I was lucky to play here for four years. This was my home court. Mm -hmm. LaSalle didn't have an arena at the time on campus. So I played a lot of games in this building, and it felt exactly the same when I walked in. I knew I'd see a lot of familiar faces, uh, even, even from you know over 25 years ago. And I did. So I'm looking forward to it. When you look at LaSalle, they started the season a little bit inconsistent. They started off 6-6 six and six after making it to the Sweet 16 last year. They come into this game on a four-game winning streak. What do you see going right there? Because they have a dynamic front court and two pretty good big guys. They do, and I think the big key for them is getting Ty Durman back. You know, he, when he's been dealing with some plantar fasciitis. When he got back in, it stabilized everything because they obviously have very difficult guards to contain with Duran and Garland. And then up front, Jarrell Wright, Steve Zach have been playing great for him. Right, right now, they got some momentum finally. They need to keep it up. I think out of the gate, when you go to the Sweet 16, now when you go to play some teams that maybe you look on the schedule and say, we should get that win, well, now you come in as a Sweet 16 team when you play those teams. It's mm -hmm. totally different the way they view you, the way the crowd views you. Um, you're a marked team, and I think it maybe set them back on their heels a little bit at the start of the year, but right now they're playing their best basketball they have so far this season and they'll try to keep it up against Temple. When you look at the other side, the Temple Owls are the sixth most winningest program in college basketball. They've made the NCAA tournament six straight times. They come into this game, losers of five straight. They lost five seniors last year. Fran Dumpy's been dealt with a difficult task having to manage such a young team. What have you seen from Temple so far this season? Well, I think, and I talked to Fran for a long time yesterday, and first of all, I know what a great coach he is. He was an assistant at LaSalle for my last three years, so I, I have firsthand experience. I know what a great coach he is. Uh, I think what they've dealt with is their inability to hold leads. Right? They've lost 10 games. They've led in the second half of all 10 of those games. Yeah. So at some point, they, he said they have breakdowns in communication or mental focus, mental lapses, or they start to expect bad things to happen, and that's what's happened for them. But they've got a lot of talent. I mean, they've got three guys that are scoring more than LaSalle's leading scorers. They've got a lot of offensive firepower. Their issues have been more defensively. Uh, you know, it doesn't matter that they've lost five straight, LaSalle's won four straight. It never matters what their records are when two big five teams play each other, particularly mm -hmm. in the Palestra. All that stuff's out the window because it's a big rivalry. Right, now last one before we let you run. You mentioned you played here for four years. It's already rocking inside and we still a couple hours still tip off. How do you expect the atmosphere to be here inside the Palestra? Uh, it's going to be insane. I did uh, talk back with Sports Center out there and I could barely hear the questions <laughs> in my ear and it's only 20% full at this time. So I, hopefully they get this thing a standing room only. That's what it always was for the big five games when I was here. First time I've been in Plush in about 10 years and I can only imagine what that environment's going to be. And I'm just, I'm ex so, so excited to get the opportunity to do it. And, and some of the people associated with game day that haven't been here before, I'm excited for them too because they're going to experience what I did for four years at LaSalle. All right, Tim Legler of ESPN, thanks so much for joining Thank us. You.